Just test match special. Welcome. So it's like this. Golden brown texture like sun lays me down. In my mind she runs throughout the night No need to fight, never a frown With golden brown Every time, just like the last On her ship, tied to her mast Two distant lands, takes both my hands Never a frown, with golden brown Golden brown, fine a temptress. Through the ages, she's heading west. From far away, stays for a day. Never a frown, with golden brown. Never a frown with golden brown. Never a never a frown with golden brown. Never a frown. With golden brown. Fabulous. And Mike Selby now knows what his guitar would sound like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that's terrific. You see, if all punk music sounded like that, I think I think I'd have liked it. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> but it rather passed me by. I mean, is that is that a common thing for some of my age to say? Or not? I mean, I'm um, 45. I was in my early 20s, I suppose, when that was. I don't know, will it? I mean, it, it's. Uh, I mean, the Strangs were considered a punk band, but we're, we're in a very loose as, as association. Um, I mean, there were lots of bands coming at the same time: the Police, the Jam, Blondie, and they were all sort of lumped into this very convenient uh, collar of, of punk. But really, and no one was going to argue because it was a great opportunity for everyone to to get famous, you know. And we yeah. weren't going to knock that. You know, no one's going to pass that back and say, "No, excuse me, uh, we're not punk, so we don't want to take part in this." Thank you. Um, so there was a lot of loose associations. I mean, it, it really was sort of almost like electric folk music, really, because it was trying to, I think it was just trying to to express the, the, the mood at the time. It was a three-day week going on, you know, a lot of, um, a lot of depressed... That's my point. Did things. you have to be angry, in a way, as, as a... As a just, um, just trying to tell it how it was. I mean, um, when I, when I took it, I suddenly realised why it was so dangerous, because you feel s it, it satisfies you so completely in every possible way. Uh, that's why it's so dangerous. You don't want food, you don't want sex, you don't want anything. You, you, you don't want anybody, you don't need anything, because you feel so complete, and that's, a f that's, that's yeah. why it's so dangerous. Was it inevitable that someone like you would, would end up taking Trying drugs? Trying yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, the, the, there's a sort of this, there's this um, inherent, um, almost job description, you know. Um, I, I play rock music, therefore I've, I've got to take drugs, haven't I? You know, it's, and and they they are they are they were. I don't know about now, but they were at that time. They were rife, and they were always around, available. And of course, also if you've got very um, uh, heavy schedules, performing and touring and things like that, then um, these sort of things, things that keep you awake or keep you alert, you know, uh, for hours and hours, are actually quite useful. You know, so. Yeah. So. Was it a